We're having a shave with a new razor from Phoenix Shaving. And of course, boom, lather. And that's coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watch savers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Hey, great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Really do appreciate it. Well, I've already hit the ground running. I've already built my lather. I've done my hot towel. I've done my first step with the cube 2.0 to wash my face and get ready for my pre-shave uh, application of the cube. I want to show you I have two days worth of beard growth here. All right, that we're going to knock down with a brand new razor from Phoenix Shaving. All right, before I get to that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos. And also, please consider subscribing. Let's get right to the Cube 2.0 to work onto a uh, pre-shave right here. I've already cleansed my face with it. So we were good to go with that. Ooh, look at that. That's perfect. And again, I have two days worth of uh, beard growth there. Here's my lather that I whipped up in the uh, Starry Night Lathering Bowl. Boy, is this a nice, creamy, yogurty, rich, thick lather. My gosh. I am using a Danaid. Uh, Danaid Foil 50 from Phoenix Shaving with that great leather scent. And I'm also using the Astraeus Shaving Brush with a 22 millimeter knot. Both of these are from Phoenix Shaving. Uh, absolutely wonderful. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. And that warrants a second. Boom! Lather! <laughs> How about that? Absolutely fantastic. How that just my gosh, look at that. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Wow. I, I just want to get right to the razor, talk about it, show it to you. Here it is, folks, right here uh, from Phoenix Shaving. It is the Ascension Double Open Comb Twist Adjustable Razor in 7075 aluminum with a burnt orange finish. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? This weighs 1.16 ounces. Uh, in contrast, here's the Copper Ascension right here. You can see these side by side. The Copper Ascension weighs about 4.16 ounces or thereabouts. Uh, so there you go. Yeah, very, very lightweight performer, but really <laughs> very agile, very maneuverable. And the razor does all the work despite its lighter weight. It really is amazing. We're going to go ahead and shave with this. Now, it does not ship with a buffer ring. I... Uh, got my own uh, buffer rings from a pack, a packet that I bought from Phoenix Shaving some time ago. You can get a packet of 10 of these for about a buck. I encourage you to do that if you want to use uh, the buffer ring with this particular razor. And uh, you don't really have to use it, but uh, it does help if you want to open up that blade gap a little more. That's where the buffer ring helps. If you don't want to use the buffer ring, you don't have to, but... Uh, Using a buffer ring, you get to open that blade gap up a little wider if your beard is a little more demanding. We're going to use a Platinum Strangelet razor blade right here from Phoenix Shaving. It pairs up very, very well with this razor. I've already had several shaves with this razor, and I am very, very impressed. Uh, and I've been very impressed with a lot of aluminum razors out there. They are very, very good. Okay, so there's the blade right there. Here's the cap. Boy, this is really a very, very lightweight razor. No doubt about it. We're going to just set that in there like that. I'm going to attach the base plate like that. That seats in there very nicely. Okay, you can see it's a uh, tab and slot configuration on that razor head. There's the uh, O-ring going in right there. Here's the handle. And this burnt orange finish really does make this razor pop. Okay, so there it is. We're snugging that up. And a blade balance and alignment spot on. End tabs 
are enclosed in the razor head and like all the other great ascension twist adjustable razors the razor head has these nice notches on the end so you can really get a nice firm grasp of it with soapy slippery hands to make your twist adjustments so we're going to go ahead we're going to open this up a full quarter turn like that so we're ready to go and it's uh, most well at a very nice aggressive setting i'm not going to say it's most aggressive setting but for me it's a good aggressive setting so we're going to heat this under some hot 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 water and get right to the first pass here uh very lightweight very maneuverable very nimble all right so here we go all right 30 degrees a light touch let the razor do all the work gentlemen just plowing through that whisker very nicely very smooth very efficient and again the uh, the lightweight makes the razor very nimble and maneuverable and yet the razor head does all the work i've always said but the way of the razor do all the work gentlemen and in this case it does the, the the even though it's a lighter weight somehow the its weight the aluminum material and the design of the razor head all come together to where this razor does all the work just use a light touch Now look how many shaving swipes I took and how that lather just moves out of the way of the blade. All right. It's just fantastic. It just seems to clear out of the way and give you some good blade exposure to continue your shave. Two days worth of beard growth, as I say. Some nice residual slickness there where I can do a little bit of buffing there on the chin. I'm going to have to get the chin area again. Uh, it's a point of my shave I don't want to neglect. Sometimes, sometimes I miss a little bit while I'm on camera doing these reviews, talking to you. So I'm going to make a note of, <laughs> make a note to get that, that area there right on the point of the chin a little more closely. Pay a little more attention to it. Just did a great job underneath the nose the slim profile the razor head does a nice job of getting up underneath there and getting all those little bits i probably got a good i would say 85 to 90 percent maybe even a little more uh just did a great great job no tugging no pulling even at a quarter turn to open this razor up at a more aggressive setting uh just terrific just a really really nice smooth wonderful efficient first pass two days worth of beard growth okay let's rinse let's see where we're at boy yeah i am approaching socially acceptable uh shave territory that's usually where i'm at when I have uh, two days worth of beard growth. Uh, you know what? The second pass is the money pass for me. We'll see if this shave is going to be completed after two passes. Sometimes it is uh, in certain instances, depending on the razor and the blade and, and that sort of thing. And look, look how wonderful Denaid Foil 50 is. It's just a beautiful lather. Look how it's held up in the lathering bowl, giving me this nice, rich creaminess just a great great carpet of lather my gosh is that great the Estrella's brush even though it's a 22 millimeter brush it has the feel 
of a brush that uh, is a larger knot. It has the feel of a 22 millimeter knot. It really does. And it does a great job in applying lather and you're able to pinpoint it. And it I, I tell you, it's just another, you know, the maneuver, I talk about the maneuverability of the, uh, the razor. The brush has uh, the same kind of nice maneuverability and it just did a great job in whipping up the lather and applying it to the face just painting it on I mean it's just it's marvelous it really is and you know what here I got plenty I got plenty in the bowl my gosh and let me show you the label right here let me show you the shade so uh, right here so you can get a good look at Denaid Foil 50 from Phoenix Shaving this is an homage to Tom Ford's ombre leather. Boy, this is a marvelous, marvelous leather scent. If you like leather scents in your shave soap, this is the one to get. Absolutely fantastic. Only available through February of 2023, just so you know. Uh, and hopefully this review will run while there's still February left where you can order this shave soap. Uh, yeah, fantastic razor. We're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grade. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, let's snug it up. Okay, and let's come back about an eighth of a turn. Okay, so an eighth of a turn. So we're uh, not at its mildest setting, but we're not as aggressive as we were on the first pass. All right, here we go. Pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Love this razor. Love these Ascension razors. These are great. Absolutely no tugging or pulling at all. Again, I'm paying a little more attention to my chin there. And right over here too, right over here by my earlobes, I want to make sure I get those areas and I got some res nice residual slickness there where I can do it just a little touch of kind of on the fly. So the razor does a nice job of getting into those tighter areas. Boy, that's great. And again, some nice residual, some nice residual slickness to uh, knock down that whisker on the chin there. Well, I tell you what, <laughs> this shave might be complete. Well, we're going to have to rinse first. So let's rinse. That's the second pass done. Let's rinse. Let's see where we're at. This shave, this shave is done. I'm not kidding you. Boy, that's two days worth of beard growth. Now, if I want to do a little touch up, I could do some touch up. I'm probably right now in I am in darn fine shave territory upper darn fine shave territory lower BBS territory and I think this is going to turn into a BBS shave after 
the this whisker throws off a little excess little excess uh, water but you know what we're going to go like this right here and right here and maybe a little bit here a little bit there and we're going to do just a little bit of touch up that's all we're going to do just a little touch up that's all i need a little bit there a little bit there Yeah, a little bit there and a little bit here. All right. All right, let's rinse. It's all I needed. Yeah, it's, it's really all I needed. Two passes and a touch up. <laughs> this razor is really wonderful. These Ascension razors are fantastic. And... You know, numerically, I don't know where I am on that first pass, what level of aggression that is, because there's there's no numbering system there. Uh, so I don't know where I am as, in, as it relates to another adjustable razor, whether it be a, a slim or the T2 or the console, anything like that. I can't tell you if it's a level 5 or level 7, level 6. I don't know. All I know is it's wonderfully efficient beautifully smooth and uh, still maintains a nice smooth close mild quality for me like it a lot all right two final rinses one warm one cold here's my warm water rinse okay that's great that's great wow some beautiful, beautiful slickness with Formula CK6 in the Denaid Foil 50 Shave Soap. Love it. Love this scent. Love CK6. Really fantastic. Love the Astraeus uh, shaving brush. It's just uh, wonderful. Did a great job in building a lather. And the Starry Night Lathering Bowl is what I use to build my lather. That did a great, great job. That lathering bowl really is terrific. Um, thanks again to Beth Jones. Uh, cold water, boy, good and cold, cold water rinse. Oh, that's marvelous. All right, clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Okay. That's great. Now, this towel I'm using is a pack of uh, barber towels that I bought off Amazon. And I'll show you the label. Not bad. I mean, they're okay. A real, a sharp contrast to uh, what I have been using. Let me show you the label. These are the Diane... Diane from Barber Towels. I'll let you get a look at the label there. Okay, see that? Okay, you see they're, they're thin. They're not on the thick side. They're very, very thin. This is a barber and salon towel that can be used. And they look like they're going to be um, a good towel to use uh, for, for my shaves. A little more lightweight. I did use one of these as a hot towel. It doesn't retain as much heat as some of the thicker towels I've used, but uh, it still did a rather nice job. So um, I'm going to use some of these and uh, for my shaves and see how they perform overall. So far, I like them as a towel to dry off my face. Uh, for a hot towel, not bad. Um, but, uh, you know, time will tell. But boy, that's a nice result. And the towel did a good job in uh, drying off my face. So yeah, uh, a, a, a thinner towel. It's a thinner towel, but it is very soft. It's a cotton towel. And we'll see how they hold up and how they last. You get a pack of about 12. I think I paid like about 20 bucks somewhere in there. I'll get the link. Uh, you can check them out if you'd like to. But it, it definitely is a thinner towel uh, versus some of the other ones that I've used, but it seems like it might have um, a little more uh, utility, so to speak, in, in the shave den. 
where you don't, you know, perhaps you just want a, a, a towel just to do a quick dry of the face. You don't want a big fluffy towel. I think maybe the other towels I'm using for the hot towel, probably a little better, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use these and see how they work out. You can fit more of these in this hot towel cabinet I have. Thanks again to Jamie Horn. So we'll see how it works out, but I did want to pass that on to you that uh, not a bad towel for the money. They are thinner, but they do have some good functionality when it comes to wrapping up your shave. Speaking of wrapping up the shave, we're going to go ahead and use the uh, Allen block with the no-slip grip and the dry dock system from Phoenix Shaving. Let's run this under some cold water and see what kind of feedback we get. All right, here we go. Uh, no stinging, no zinging, smooth as ice, very, very cool, really wonderful result. Uh, great, great leather scent from this shave soap. Okay, so here it is. It goes back into the dry dock like that, and the air in the room will do the rest of the job. Let me show you the brush. Let me show you the bowl. Let me show you the brush. It did a great job. It whipped up the lather in just minutes. I mean... It did a fantastic job. Look how much I have here. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> just did a great, great job. This brush, this bowl, and this soap were just absolutely wonderful in producing a terrific, terrific lather. If you are uh, starting on, on your wet shaving journey and you're starting the traditional wet shave, really, I recommend uh, a shave soap from Phoenix Shaving in Formula CK6. This will make a wonderful lather for you. Any lathering bowl, uh, this will work in any lathering bowl. If you get something with a little more resistance in there, like a Starry Night lathering bowl has these little, has these little raised knobs, little raised bumps in there, that really helps whip up a lather nicely. But you know what? Anything that will any kind of bowl will, will, will work, and the CK6 works very, very well. And a good synthetic brush, uh, and I recommend the Phoenix Shaving Synthetic Brushes. Those are very good. If you get a good synthetic brush, like the Astraeus, or the, you know, the Doppler, or the, uh, the Solar Flare from Phoenix Shaving, any of these will do a wonderful job in whipping up a lather with CK6. And before you know it, you'll be whipping up a lather like a pro. It really does a great job. That's why I say if you're just starting out, get a good artisan soap, like something from Phoenix Shaving, and a good synthetic brush. They also have some great brushes up there. And a, a lathering bowl. Get yourself a good lathering bowl. And uh, you know what? You'll get a great lather. All right. Let's get uh, let's finish it off with some of this um, Denea de Foil 50 aftershave and cologne from Phoenix Shaving. We're going to... Put that on there like that. Oh, that's marvelous. Here we go. Great scent. That's marvelous. And I've got a little bit of the Mysterium Serum right here. I'm going to order the, uh, right there, that's all I'm going to need. I'm going to order some of the Star Jelly in Denea Foil 50. And I'm going to get some more Mysterium Serum too because I am low. And this is mentholated and we're going to, because it's, because there's no fragrance in it, we're going to get a little bit of this, a couple drops of the Denaid, and put that up there too. Great shave! This is a, an absolutely marvelous, marvelous razor. It paired up wonderfully well with the uh, Phoenix Shaving Platinum Strings razor blade. It is lighter weight. Uh, there are some out there who uh, really uh, prefer a razor with a lighter weight. It works better for them for whatever reason. Other wet shavers out there uh, like something with a little more heft, a little more, a little more uh, weight to it, uh, and I understand that. So if you're someone who uh, likes a heavier razor, know that this is a, an aluminum razor, 7075 aluminum, which is very, very robust, uh, and the quality that's built into it, hey, it's a lifetime razor. Uh, aluminum, lightweight, 1.16 ounces, very nimble, very maneuverable, lightweight, different kind of approach and feel, but the weight of the razor and the razor head 
does all the work. I never had to press. Look, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Did a great job. Two passes and a touch up. Third pass, could have, I could have done a third pass at its mildest setting. I can't even remember. Did I turn this down to a milder setting? I don't think I did. I think I left it at that eighth of a turn now that I, now that I think about it. That's how smooth and mild and wonderful this razor is. It just did an absolutely spectacular, spectacular job. It also has the removable bomb tip feature. So you can swap out some bomb tips. Uh, if you so desire to do that, uh, fit one on, different color scheme, that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, it's an absolutely wonderful, wonderful razor. Uh, if you are inclined to uh, use and like aluminum razors, boy, this one, you got to get this one. This one is really, 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 really fantastic. I love all the Ascension razors. And as I mentioned in a Monday morning mailbag, I was hesitant to get the aluminum Ascension razor uh, or get the Ascension razor in aluminum. And I tried some other aluminum uh, razors that were top end. Thanks again to Alex Lopez and Mike Rose uh, and some others out there. And you know what? Uh, because of the performance of those aluminum razors, you know what? I, I pulled the trigger on this. I'm so happy I did. This really is a marvelous, marvelous razor. A great change of pace. Great for home, but because of its light weight, its twist adjustability, its smooth, mild approach, boy, this is terrific for travel. I mean, uh, it doesn't take up much weight or space in your dop kit, and yet it still delivers a great, efficient, smooth, close shave with absolutely no effort on your part. The razor does all the work. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out all the wonderful artisan soap makers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit, I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.